problems or should I say wickedness that plagues Africa or the black people and what is the name of that plague I don't know if I would say call it a cause it is called wickedness this issue is taking place in Lagos states or some poor people who are trying to survive trying to see a way to sustain themselves Paul says that the federal government of the Zoological Republic has refused to provide jobs to create employment. They find a way to get themselves uh, some car, some type of um, vehicles to run around as taxi. And sometimes the authority will pound the cars, the taxi, the buses. Now, what is happening here is that the authorities they are auctioning their cars and their own brothers those who call themselves fellow nigerians will be there in front of these people buying their cars their boxes in auction do you understand what i'm saying what type of wickedness can you relate to this and that is the same problem that's some wickedness is what kept the entire Africa of the black race where they are today. It's still, it's still that same wickedness that made those our forefathers who claim to be kings and chiefs to embark upon selling their own people, their own children, their own brothers to the Europeans as slaves. And look at where it came to Africa today. Still, that mentality is still in some people till this moment. When you say you are on person to a foreigner, what do you think that will happen? I think it's one of the repercussions of what is going on in Africa today. It brought Africa back in hundreds or thousands of years. Even it is difficult for them to compete with the other world. And today it's repeating. If you have money to buy a car, why don't you go on, in a car, on a car stand and purchase a car? Must you go and buy your brother's car? And you see your brother crying because he has no other source of means of income. But you are there pricing his car in auction. The cheapest amount. You see the wickedness of blood. This is what we continue shouting. You see, our people know firsthand. They have first class on how to bastardize things, situation. Look at it. That is the problem. It's one of the major problems that we are facing. If you try to create any good thing, before you know it, a Nigerian will go and bastardize it. And that is why you people have no value before others. Look at the hallowed ESN that IPO, Bumazin, and the can DOS created. Those who never knew that something like that was in existence, who never knew. When the OS and Mazen and the can planned and trained the ESN. For the fact that they heard about ESN, immediately they, they keyed into it and start creating their own fake version. Calling their brothers from abroad, they hear the other that they should come. That the bush in, in Biafra not is paying. That they should come. And that is how they flooded. And some people will be sitting somewhere in Europe and forming their own gang back in Biafra land. And when they are done, these are the ones that will be going out to do kidnapping for them and bring returns for them. This is what is going on. So when you wake up and hear somebody on Facebook shouting, yes, so they have formed their own ESN, they have formed their own M branch. No. And what they form is a gang. They are going to the market. Tasking market women our brothers who are suffering to see how they will sustain their family, collecting money from them and sending it to Finland to anywhere they are. And they are using it to buy arms and as well as improving. It's not improving, wasn't the talent in security. I just wanted to say improve their scam, but no, I say wasn't the internal security in Biafra land. And yet people don't understand the wickedness of black man 
is second by none. I tell you, why will you go and prize the car of your brother? Auction. A car that worth about one million, you end up buying two hundred fifty thousand, because your brother's car was impounded by the authority in Lagos, and at that time you see how economy is. He do not have money to raise to retrieve it. Within one week, you will go for the auction. You buy it at two hundred fifty thousand. That is the type of wickedness we are preaching, and in as much as this is still existing within us, I tell you. We are going nowhere. Apart from the gospel we have been preaching, apart from the sensitization we are doing on a daily basis, this is where we have to focus and root it out from the mind of a black person. Wickedness. How to turn good thing to bad advantage. This is what is put on down. Well, of course, following that, uh, you saw what happened yesterday. Today, is um, Sunday, the 18th day of September 2022. Yesterday was Saturday, the 17th. You see what's happened in our city, you talk about local government area in Ibo State. I believe this is a part of just, should I say, the results of um, the visit of Masque around this on uh, the 13th day of September. That is Tuesday. And uh, we are saying that definitely there is something he came other than to commission the road. But of course, you have seen it. The fallen days took over everywhere. What they do is that for somebody to be in charge, in level of authority in Biafra land, they, the person has to promise them of what he will be able to achieve. Definitely hope was a member signed contract with fallen days. And that contract is to continue deleting uh, the population in the states. And this is what he has been doing. He went and set up blaze a market. Destroy people's goods. What, what business do you have with the markets? If you see that if you say you are pursuing some or some group of people, why don't you try and identify them? Why go into the market and set up bless people's goods that they are using to sustain in this critical economy? Apart from that, he went on the deleting spree, deleting people. This is what is going on. I think um, it's high time because he is looking for another tenor and he must deliver again. Uh, what can he do to delete the more, more people? Of course, uh, the other way around, in Abia State, a few days ago, Tonda uh, visited the Abia camp in Ohofe in Abia State. And that Tonda struck down the Abia commandant of that 14th Brigade. You know, Hofia, do you know what happened? Instead of Fami to go and fight the thunder and arrest the thunder, the Nigerian zoo army now turn around and starts in back on the arresting spree across your Hofia youth. House to house, because thunder deleted their commandant. And of course, you know, in Ibo land, if such a thing happened, you know, it is not just normally, just that. Uh, or because the Ebola, they believe that thunder don't just kill human beings for nothing. That something must have been behind it. That person must have committed. Of course, some people give praises that the thunder, well, they say it was sent by Chukwu Kikabiam to delete that type of commandant. But well, personally, I don't totally believe in that. I don't have up to 60% belief in it. I believe 50-50, anything can happen. Electric field can ignite thunder. Yes, uh, electricity can ignite thunder. And if you are in the passage on the wear of thunder, uh, it doesn't matter whom they're standing there, whether your hands are clean or not, thunder will strike the person. That is what I've come to find out, and that is what I know. So I do not believe in 100% that anybody that thunder kills has a dirty hand. But in this case, the thunder deleted. The army commandant and the zoo army started going from house to house to arrest the youths. Not only the youths, as well as the elderly ones in you know, Ohio. This is to show you how low, how idiotic the zoo army are in this, up to this moment. They do not improve, not at all. 
I'm following that something like that to happen in plateau states. Fulani started forming masquerade. And they stop churches. When they go to church, they start flogging pastors, flogging members. They collect their tithes. They destroy everything. Fulani masquerade. Now, you can hear it. That Fulani is now, uh, now forming masquerade. Is this, no, is, this, is this just normal masquerade? This bandit masquerade now. This, that is that. Why will uh, uh, masquerade go to church? And that is again how you know that those church are impotent. Nothing is there. If you claim that um, your own power is big, why didn't you kabash against the masquerade? So they, you know, they will not collect your tithes. They will not collect everything, destroy everything in the church. But they heard the pastor and flogged him mercilessly. <laughs> and uh, his power ran out, ran out of him. But well, what I'm saying this is, how are people, even those who claim to be Christians, descend so low, they accept every rubbish that comes across themselves. You are in the church with members, all of you. You are folding your hands. About two or three masquerades and start flogging your pastor, flog some other members. And this is a church that has a lot of members. Therefore, their hands, they are looking at them. After flogging them, they take their money, take everything, even destroy, push them out of the church. <laughs> is that, that, that stupidity to the highest order. That stupidity. We are there waiting, maybe, were well, they believing that Christ will come to fight for them? Or that their God will come to fight for them? <laughs> like wish that some people will start reasoning the other way around. That those things they believe in doesn't really exist. I was watching one video sometimes in some certain parts of um, South America, in Mexico to be precise, when flood came uh, some time ago. The householders, they have their ghosts inside the church, inside the house. So the owners of the house, we are running heter skater, carrying their God on the head. Say they want to save their God so that the flood will not destroy their God. And I ask question, in a state of emergency, in such situation, who is supposed to save each other? Is a man saving God? Is it not supposed to be the God to save man? You are worshipping something you will carry your, on your head or your shoulder. You say you are saving and tomorrow you go and pitch it somewhere you bow down to that thing. It's the same thing that is going in those churches. Masquerade. Full and masquerade. Come into your church. Hear the pastor. All of them. Their ushers. Their members. Flog them. Collect their tithes, collect everything, they run away. The church members run away. And tomorrow you telling us that you are warriors, you pray. Where was your prayer at this point? I think it's high time you know that this has come that some of these Europeans brought you guys. And you, you, you bought into it. That is why it continued to mesmerize your psyche. It's same this thing we are telling, trying to sensitize our people. To reduce their level of wickedness. Is that some wickedness that keep our people where they are? And lack of proper reasoning. You sell your sons, your children, your daughters, your, your, your brothers to the Europeans. And what do you think? How do you think that the Europeans will look at you? Okay, you believe that they look at you as a reasonable person? The same thing that goes around surely comes around now that the full ideas are using who goes on them or just a call to delete her people. Tomorrow you start thinking that um, even the British are sending them, the full ideas and all of them, that they will look at you as a reasonable person. The full ideas will probably know that you are sabo. If you can go a long way to delete your own people, that means uh, you are not a man in love. What we are saying, we are sensitizing people to know how they are. And this is quite a critical time indeed. Those who are really pursuing Biafran restoration should focus and pursue it. Please don't bring things that will draw us back. We thank you for listening. And of course, we say that it's in Biafran that all of us have our citizenship and until Biafran is fully restored. We will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be.